Whoa. Hey, welcome to Gracie Schwarzwald. We're here with Erkan Mette doing our complete Gracie Jiu Jitsu self defense course, and we're working more on striking. We've covered the first uh, six major strikes, okay? The jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Okay, now we're gonna go into a, a punch which um, a lot of people may not be familiar with. Uh, that is, I think, a highly effective punch, especially for self-defense. It's a little bit of an odd punch. Um, it's kind of a cross between an uppercut and a hook. Sometimes people call this a shovel hook. Okay, now, the danger with the uppercut and the shovel hook is that I have to drop my arm from my face. With a hook, I can come straight from the face, punch is here. But with all of these, often as I'm throwing, I'm leaving kind of one side open, okay? The plus side is, when I'm here, can you see these punches coming? Yes. Yeah. When the punch is coming from down here, yeah. it's harder to track. Okay, so there's kind of a plus and minus. And so this is the truth of the shovel hook. Shovel hook. So it's not gonna be a hook. It's not gonna be straight up the middle. It's gonna come at this angle, okay? And this is, a, I think, a fantastic shot because you can really generate a lot of force. But if he's covering up, you know, even with the hook here, it can sometimes be hard to get in, but I go here, you can really work into the soft ribs, everything. I throw a couple of those, he's gonna start dropping that arm and I can come up top. Okay, so where this is really effective, if we're here, let's say he throws a, a two, and I slip it, okay? You can see, I can go high, of course, but he might already be rolling his body out, covering up, yeah, here. So when he throws, I slip, right? This is gonna be a very powerful punch. Now I can also go high to the head, but for me it's a really great situation where he slips off to the side, and then he's gonna come right in, and again it's at a 45 degree angle up, okay? He could just step right in right here. We're maybe arguing here. It could be I can even push the guy maybe, and this is gonna be a really powerful shot, especially setting up other maybe grappling situations, right? He throws that shot, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna drop down, we've got guillotines, knees, snap downs, everything here, versus he hits me up high, here maybe I'm backing away, now he's gotta to try to chase me from a, from, a, um, from a striking and grappling situation. So again, the fist is gonna be here, so I'm not turning it in any particular way, you can open hand with all of these. This is gonna be obviously less effective open hand than hitting the face. But sometimes you could just hit the body that way too, open hand. Um, but this is actually one of my favorite strikes. And again, what makes this bad is when we're here and we're here, he doesn't see this coming as opposed to when I'm throwing straight all it's in his vision area. The punches from down here, this is a little off topic. But this is why if you're in a self-defense conflict situation and the guy has his hands down, your feeling should be, I'll keep my hands down too. Well, that's a bad idea because my hands need to be up to protect my head. But just because his hands da are down doesn't mean he's not a threat. He's actually often a more of a threat because if it's self-defense, am I gonna attack you right off as first? Yeah. Probably not, right? I'm gonna wait for you to attack. Right now, I can't see where this punch is coming. Mm -hmm whether it goes to the head or the body. So this is actually a lot of times more difficult, right? A predator will keep his hands down because he wants you to feel like you should keep your hands down and also so you cannot track what this hand is doing, whether it's going for a weapon, whether it's gonna come up for any sort of a strike. So this is one reason that if we are feeling any threatened, where should our hands go? They should start monitoring my arms, right? So that way if I'm, yeah, here. Okay, so uh, shovel hook, very great strike, especially once you start cutting angles. Boom. Yeah.